Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and recently I stumbled onto an Instagram photo of Cardi B and Offset with baby number two. And while I was so excited to see that she had a baby and they were happy and all that stuff, the problem that I have is not the fact that they got back together, not the fact that they had another baby, but the fact that her music and her presence in the media, she promotes to women to be promiscuous. She promotes women to be, you know, to wop everywhere and that she doesn't cook and clean and that's how she gets a man. And she's promoting all of this toxic behavior to women. And women are sopping it up. You see girls at the club and at the bar basically shouting these anthems out, right? As like a shout for female empowerment. And she was praised for her performance at the VMAs or something like that, right? So she's promoting female empowerment. And on the flip side, Cardi B is not living up or not living to what she's saying in her songs or in the media, right? The audio doesn't match the visual. She's doing the complete opposite of what she promotes in the media. So I stumbled onto this Vogue article that she gave like the inside scoop of how they got back together and whatnot. So I'm going to read some excerpts out of this. And you will be surprised by what Cardi B says, okay? So for those of you who don't know, Cardi B announced her divorce with Offset, and then she rescinded that. They went through counseling and whatnot, but this is what she says. When me and my husband got into our issues, you know, he cheated and everything, and I decided to stay with him and work together with him. A lot of people were so mad at me. A lot of women felt disappointed in me, Cardi says. Shocking, Cardi, because you are telling women to leave and to be this, you know, promiscuous woman and that they don't need a man and that, you know, you don't cook and clean and that you can have a wop and you can be a hoe and all these other things. So, of course, women are going to take some issue with this because you stayed with your cheating husband. Okay, so let's continue. She said, but it's real life ish. You know what that word is. If you love somebody, you stop being with them and you're depressed and social media is telling you not to talk to this person because he cheated. You're not really happy on the inside until you have the conversation. Then if you get back with them, it's like, how could you? You let all of us down. Well, of course, Cardi, you let all the women down after you preached this one thing and then you did another thing. People that be in marriages for years, when they say till death do us part, they do not, they not, sorry, her grammar is not that good. She goes, <laughs> she goes, they not talking about little arguments like if you leave the fridge open. That's including everything. So it's interesting to me that Cardi B understands that marriage is hard and difficult and that it's till death do you part right? She understands that clearly by her words here in this Vogue article. But then on the flip side, she's making music that counteracts that. So do you see where the disconnect is? The audio doesn't match the visual. And this is what I have a problem with because if she really lived out her lyrics, if she really lived out her her message to women, she would have left him. She would have probably had another baby or gotten with another rapper or, you know, NFL player or something like that. And she would have kept it going. She could, she could have kept it moving, but no, she decided to work on her relationship. To me, working on the marriage is obviously the route to go, but it's shocking to me that a woman who preaches one thing 
doesn't practice what she preaches. She does the complete opposite, right? She's working on her marriage. She understands that marriage is hard. So that's the disconnect that I want women to understand. These people, these celebrities like Cardi B, like Beyonce, remember Beyonce wrote an entire diss album for Jay-Z after he cheated? Do you remember that? And they're still together. And I recently saw that Kylie Jenner is now pregnant with Travis Scott's baby, second child as well. And he cheated as well. So do you understand what I'm saying here? What they promote in the media and what they do behind closed doors are not the same thing. So why are women listening to this garbage? I also want to remind you that remember that song WAP, right? You know the acronym for that. Well, Offset caught Cardi cleaning and makes fun of it, right? Because she says, I don't cook, I don't clean. So let's just watch that really quick. Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> you need to stop lying on your phone, man. She be lying. She clean. She got to clean. I'm going to punch you in your head. See, ladies, Cardi B does cook. She does clean. She is preaching one thing and doing the complete opposite. We need to see this for what it is. This right here, they're making billions of dollars off of these women who believe their lyrics, believe what they have to say, right? But on the other side, but on the flip side, they're not practicing what they preach. They're doing the complete opposite. So why are you buying into this garbage? This is what I want to shake women. I want to shake young girls and (laughs) young women to say, this is not the truth. This is not what you should be doing. And listen, I do not condone cheating in relationships. I think it's disgusting. I don't wish that on anyone. And yes, cheating is one of those things that if you're going to divorce someone, that is something that you can divorce someone on is cheating, right? But as I'm going to read here, Cardi does the complete opposite. So Cardi goes on to say, I believe in forgiveness. I prayed on it. Me and my husband, we prayed on it. We had priests come to us and we just came to an understanding like, bro, it's really us against the world. He has my back for everything and I have his back for everything. So when you cheat, you're betraying the person that has your back the most. Why would you do that? We had to come to a clear understanding. For me, monogamy is the only way. So again, guys, Yes, cheating is terrible. Cheating is awful. But the fact is, is that I know so many couples that have gone through that, that have come out the other side and were stronger than ever. If you're a woman listening to what Cardi B or Megan Thee Stallion or even Nicki Minaj, who, by the way, also just had another child, if you're listening to these types of lyrics or you're listening to this music and you are attracted and you spend money on this stuff, right? Stop because they do not care about you. They're going to make their money no matter what. Selling this garbage dumpster fire music to you and you are still alone or you're not even in a relationship because you're an independent woman and you don't care about men and men are trash and all of these other things. Well, all of these all of these artists that make this music for the single ladies are married. So, before you start spending more money on this type of music or media in general, you should really look at what these celebrities are doing. They do not practice what they preach. They are telling you the opposite to keep you spending more money, to have you perpetually be more single, and they're making money off of it. Ladies, wake up. These celebrities don't care about you. Their music doesn't care about you. Stop idolizing this type of behavior because Cardi B even says it takes it takes work. It takes 
It takes effort. Marriage and relationships are not easy. They're not easy. They're worth it at the end of the day. And it's an amazing thing to be married. And I highly recommend that. But if you are idolizing these types of celebrities, if you're idolizing and then you look up to these types of influencers, then you really need to check your heart because they do not care what they put out there. They're going to still make their money and you're still going to be miserable. So that is my message for today. I hope someone learned something from this and I hope you took some little nuggets away from this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.